kid and Mr. Hitler. Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny morning and we are in Brighton today and we've come to see the grave of Bill Pertwee. I'll tell you a little bit more about him very shortly. Now don't forget, if you like the video today, give it a thumbs up, okay? If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the video because then you'll just get more uh, more information about when the video is coming out, of course, and a notification bell as well, which will send you an alert when a new video goes up. Don't forget to leave me your comment today as well, won't you? Just to make sure that I can uh, hear your stories about Bill Pertwee. And um, yeah, because I love reading all the comments, they're fantastic. So uh, yeah, that's it, should we get on with it? Yeah, might as well, aren't we? It's rude not to, isn't it? William Desmond Anthony Pertwee, MBE. 21st of July, 1926, to the 27th of May, 2013. Was a British comedy actor. He played the role of antagonist Chief ARP Warden Hodges in the sitcom Dad's Army. Pertwee was born in Amersham, Buckinghamshire, on the 21st of July, 1926. The youngest of three boys of a Brazilian mother and an English father, James Francis Carter Pertwee, who travelled the country as a salesman until he became ill and died in 1938, when Bill Pertwee was 12. He appeared in the radio comedy series Beyond Our Ken, 1959-1964 and Round the Home, 1965-1967. He was also a warm-up act for many television shows. His most prominent role was that of ARP Warden Hodges in Dad's Army, which he played in both the original television series from 1968 to 1977 and the radio adaptations as well as the radio sequel, It Sticks Out Half a Mile, set after the war. Pertwee was president of the Dad's Army Appreciation Society and the author of the book, Dad's Army, The Making of a Television Legend. In July 2008, he and other surviving members of the Dad's Army cast gathered together at the Imperial War Museum on the 40th anniversary of the show's first broadcast in 1968. Congratulations, <laughs> Captain Mannering. How did the men behave on the way down? No Any troubles? No, I had no trouble at all. I was going to report Captain Mannering a rather nasty scene when he arrived. I saw him embracing females on the seafront. I saw that too, and I, pre I, I prefer to pretend that I didn't notice anything. Yes. He also made appearances on This Morning. In 1975, he took part in the Dad's Army stage show, and with Norman MacLeod released the Dad's Army single, Get Out and Get Under the Moon, with Pertwee's B-side song, Hooligans, on EMI. Pertwee appeared in two Carry On films, Carry On Lovin', 1970, and Carry On Girls, 1973. His appearance in Carry On At Your Convenience, 1971, was cut from the final film. His other film appearances include The Magnificent Seven Deadly Sins, 1971, Psychomania, 1973, as postman in the film versions of Love Line Neighbour and Man About the House. Confessions of a Pop Performer, 1975, What's Up Nurse, 1977, and What's Up Superdoc, 1978. On television, Pertwee appeared in the final episode of It Ain't Half Hot Mum, 1981, and an episode of Heidi High, 1986. He played P.C. Wilson in You Rang My Lord, 1988-1993. He married Marion McLeod, sister of John and Norman McLeod, of the Maple Leaf Four, in 1956. They had a son, Jonathan James Pertwee, born in 1966, who has previously appeared in television programmes. Pertwee died aged 86 on the 27th of May 2013. He had been ill since the previous year and died peacefully at his home in Cornwall. Three days previously, he had attended a parade in Thetford, home of the Dad's Army Museum, where spectators and museum volunteers remarked how frail he was looking. His death and that of Pamela Cundell in 2015 and Frank Williams in 2022 leaves Ian Lavender, who played Private Pike, as the only surviving Dad's Army cast member. Okay, guys and girls, now I did promise, didn't I, that if I saw a church whilst I was on the travels, on any of the grounds, 
but I'd go and see if it was open and we can get into it. Only if it's open, of course. <laughs> I'm not going to start breaking into churches for a living. There's a door. Ooh. Oh, he looks like it's been boarded up, look. Oops. Get that way, Paul, that way. Yeah, it's been proper boarded up. Oh, well. Morning. Yeah, boarded up church, never mind. I did see one other door. There's a door here. Rude not to try it, wouldn't it? So when you knock on it and the Phantom of the Crypt or something answers it and goes, go in, ooh, and I slip up and break my neck. So there we have it there, there's all the information about Bill Pertwee. Now this place is beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it's so big, it's gorgeous. And like I said, we're just sort of, well, not too far from Brighton Beach really, probably about 10 minute drive if that. And uh, we continue to have a look around. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? I think I found it. William Desmond Pertwee, MBE, Bill. July 21st, 1926, May 27th, 2013. Beloved husband of Marion, much loved father to Jonathan and a truly loved family man and entertainer, always in our hearts. Put that light out. <laughs> Obviously a reference there to what he used to say in uh, Dad's Army. And of course his wife's next to him here. Marion Sheila Pertwee McLeod, May the 15th, 1928 to May the 27th, 2005. Beloved wife of Bill, much loved mother to Jonathan, always in our hearts. The grave there of the much loved Bill Pertwee. Um, I've had so many people ask me to do some Dad's Army actors and actresses, but uh, obviously it's always difficult because some of them get cremated and you know it's, um, it's hard to, to always find where they are. But it's not necessarily always hard to find where they are, but if they've been cremated, there's not always memorial plaques. But what we do have to say, of course, is massive thank you. Bill, um, you've brought many smiles of laughter and many, you know, many years of happiness to people with your acting and entertainment skills. And of course, don't forget, he is cousin of um, John Pertwee, Wurzel Gummidge, Doctor Who, you know. Um, so there, there we have it. Bill Pertwee, don't forget to leave your comments down below. Were you a big Dad's Army fan? Did you like him in particular? Because you always come in and give him a rollicking um, or any of the other work that he's done at all. Uh, let me know. Please give it a thumbs up if you do like it. And of course, um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will get that out of my face. <laughs> From a beautiful, sunny, Brighton morning, I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Oh, I'll tell you what I must do. I must thank everyone members i must thank all you members and i must thank all you new people that have subscribed and especially people that have donated towards the channel it really does help like i say i've driven from portsmouth to brighton today we all know what fuel prices are like um so yeah i'm really grateful to those people i can't name you all individually because i'll be here all day i do apologize about that but thank you from the bottom of here it really does mean a lot and uh, it enables me to carry on doing this which hopefully you guys enjoy and uh, yeah I'll continue to do it as long as as long as we can
we'll do it together. There you go. Right, see you all soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.